Hey everyone, welcome back. Another episode here, me riding the uh, Rad Mini. Except a little, something a little different here. I don't know if you noticed, but there may be less shaking, less jiggling maybe, I'm not sure. I have a gimbal and uh, <laughs> I got that Q Zion Smooth. I'm actually trying out with my Galaxy S, uh, S9 uh, here. And uh, I think I, I still got a lot of kinks to work out on it. I'm going as smooth as I can. I don't know if it can take large bumps. It's kind of shaky. I may have to do something here. I may have to put some foam or padding under here to give it a better cushion. But uh, I'm using my camera mount. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So far it's kind of looking okay. I'm on a new trail here. If you uh, don't know where I am. Uh, we'll see how long this lasts. I don't know if I can do some heavy, heavy rides on this. I got it on the bike mount. I'll try it on the chest mount a little bit later. That remains to be seen here. go from here. I don't know where I go from here. I know I want to get across. I don't feel comfortable jumping curves with this yet, so I'm going to just ride around. Anyways, this is all new to me. It's really bumpy. It's shaking quite a bit. I don't know. I don't know if it get I don't think this thing can handle it. It's shaking quite a bit. So, I don't know. I think I'll take it off and I'll try a chest mount. So, hold on. Let me go ahead and put it on a chest mount and see how that feels. That might feel, that might be a little bit different. I'm experimenting. I'm in a new place. This is all weird for me. Worst case scenario, I can always put you guys back on the uh on the regular mount. So I could always put you guys back on the regular mount. I got you on pan mode for some reason. Let me see if I can uh, lock that in here. No, I'm still on pan mode. No, I'm still on pan mode. I haven't quite read all the directions yet here. Hold on. Anyways, I'll go with it. on the chest and let's see how it works from there it's gonna look really ridiculous but good thing about what I'm doing is I don't really live here I just came all this way to fix someone's uh, light bulb let's see how this you in let's see how this let's see how this feels and I'll even zip up the jacket over it so it can act like a cushion here I think this might work with the jacket lifted up and this is gonna go back on on here now I just bought this I just bought this at Fry's
All right, I think this I think this might work a lot better. Let's see how it feels. Kind of does and it kind of doesn't. I don't know, I'm still experimenting with it. I have to move it around as well. Keep it in balance. Yeah. Well, I'll tweak with it. I'll play around with it. We'll see how it goes. eventually getting there. Oh my god, I don't think this thing is working. Oh, it is working. It isn't, but it is. I'm gonna have to jerry rig some parts. Anyway, my wife uh, basically uh, pimped me out for the most part. She uh, she uh, offered my uh, handyman services to her friends, all those single uh, women who have no men in their lives. That's why I'm up here. I had to fix a light bulb. So, if you're wondering what I'm doing up here, uh, okay. And so I found this trail on Google Maps here, and that's kind of what I'm more or less I'm doing. Anyways, I'll try to do my best with this. It's not the ideal situation, but that's what I've got. Uh, I look kind of stupid, but don't worry, I got my buff on. And not only do I have my buff on, I also, uh, so I have my face covered, and I also don't live here. So if people look at me all weird or silly and everything, uh, that's all right. I don't, uh, I don't live here, so... <laughs> That's why I wanted to test it out here before I look really dumb. I can't really go fast with this. This is a... Uh, I got it at Fry's for like 70... 85 dollars with tax out the door. It was 80 dollars pretty much uh, with the promotion code if you go to Fry's. I'll try to do a review on it. Either way, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll still experiment with it. But I do have to admit, uh, excessive shaking and, and the bouncing and the weight of this, it just... You just can't, you just can't, you just can't get it to do what you want it to do. So I may have to go to a camera mount and put this in my backpack. I don't know, I'll have to see, but I'll ride around here, see what it's like. I'll also, uh, I'll also test it out. So, I got this camera and floating in front of me. People are probably wondering, what is this guy doing? On the chest, it seems to be a little bit better, but at the same time, it's uh, it's almost hard to work with. And I can thank goodness I can adjust it by hand from time to time. Anyways, let me stop here and let me adjust this thing again. Problem is I'm leaning over, so I think it needs to be more up here, and my jacket. 
kind of just more or less right about here. There we go. I, I can kind of see it, but I can't. Anyways, it's right in front of me, so let's see how it goes. I'm not doing anything fast or anything. This is just a new area for me. I'm also testing out the camera. Seeing how the camera's like, oh, it's already moving on me. I look like a total dork, but you know what? That's all part of the fun, isn't it? That's the point, it's uh, to ride around and you know, I look like a dork. So that's what I'm gonna look like. But the great thing is I don't, I don't, uh, I don't live here, so. I'm not gonna get a lot of exercise, I can tell you that right now. But thank goodness I got the throttle. See, like this, it just turns that way. I haven't, nope, that's why. Uh, I am jerry rigging a lot of what I'm doing here, by the way. If you haven't already figured that out. All right, so let's see. All right, there we go, it's working. It's working a lot better. Yeah, I'm gonna have to jerry-rig a lot of stuff to make this work, <laughs> if I wanna keep doing it. I, I have to actually keep a slow pace. I have to keep a slow pace while I'm riding. It's kind of weird. And this thing isn't always, I don't know if this thing's horizontal or not, so... Anyways, I just got it out of the box. I probably need to calibrate it and do all this other stuff. But it's a cool day today. It's like, man, it was in the 50s last night. And so... So it's in the 50s and... Uh, It's really cool, cold. I could ride a little bit better now. Yeah, I could ride a lot better. Ooh, boy. Let's see here if I'm gonna... Let's see, it just pans to the right. Okay, I push some buttons, let's see what it does. Now I don't have an idea where I'm going because I've never been here. So let's see what happens. I'm just going in a circle. Let's see if it turns with me. It's kind of turning with me. It's kind of turning. I don't know if you enjoy this or not. But I'll, I'll be the first to experiment here. And it doesn't quite go horizontal. I noticed that right away. That's the first thing I noticed. I may have to stop from time to time to adjust this while on the fly. So, let me try to doing that right now. See if I can adjust that right now.
No, it won't work. Oh, well, it is what it is. I'll take a look at it. I might even stop somewhere and see how it glows. If it doesn't work out, I'll always convert back to the, uh, I always go back to uh, the, the camera mount I got, so. All right, there's a bench. Let's check it out. There's a bench and some other stuff. All right, what is that? Like a little kid's pool play area? All right, let's check it out. All right, I'll stop here and I'll take a look at some footage.